The Google Nexus 5 and Android 4.4 KitKat are rumored for an October launch. Microsoft talks about their sad times with Windows Phone and the Surface. And believe it or not, HP has launched some more Android tablets. I'm Jaime Rivera, and this is the LG G2, which has nothing to do with this video. But this is Pocket Now Daily. Let's start today off with uh, interesting and kind of skeptical news as HP has just launched two Android tablets and no, I did not get the company wrong. Believe it or not, they're using this new Nvidia Tegra Note platform that we talked about yesterday, which is basically just another Android tablet with a couple of quirks and an Nvidia Tegra 4 being powered. So yeah, they finally landed a US OEM to actually carry that. And well, we just don't know what to expect out of them. And yeah, there were also some Windows tablets as well. Links in the description for details. Now let's talk about Microsoft as the company has now held their annual financial analyst meeting and well, CEO Steve Ballmer has just talked about how bad it has been with Windows Phone 8 and also with the fact that the Microsoft Surface did not perform as they expected. Obviously they have a huge backlog of products right there, but apparently he is very optimistic up to the point where we now have more leaks of Windows Phone 8.1. Apparently even Cortana will make it to GDR3, so links in the description for more details, screenshots and everything. Now let's talk about the Moto X and Republic Wireless because they are now related. You know about that carrier upstart that's trying to make a name for itself by selling us affordable phones and affordable plans? Well, as it turns out, the Moto X can now be picked up there for $300, no contract. And then you can obviously sign up to one of their affordable plans where, well, you won't find the $19.99 plan anymore. Apparently it's already $25, but still, it is a good bargain and a good deal. So look around for that if you're interested in the Moto X. And speaking of deals, you remember that Apple pretty much gave away their whole iWork productivity suite for new iOS 7 customers? Well, as it turns out, Google could not hold back. They are now offering their quick office productivity suite for that company that they bought recently, completely free for Android customers and not just the new ones, even the current ones. So links in the description for what a download quick office, which uh, could not necessarily be great, but being free, who cares? And finally, for the hot news of the day, we've got some more credible leaks that Android 4.4 KitKat and the LG Nexus 5 will be launched in October. The reason why is because Nestle is going crazy with so much publicity for this Android 4.4 KitKat. They're teasing that something big will be launched sometime within October. Obviously, this means the operating system, and obviously this also means the phone, which we've got some other leaks that state that the phone will actually be priced just as low as the Nexus 4 last year. So these are hot news, but that leads me to the question of the day. Are you holding off for the Nexus 5? Is this phone the one you've been waiting for or you're holding off for before you buy a Galaxy Note 3 or an iPhone 5S or whatever? In my particular case, you know, honestly, because this phone is based off the LG G2 and after holding this phone for pretty much a day and actually liking it, I am holding off for that Nexus 5. It's got to be a cool phone, but leave us a comment down below. What are you expecting? Friends, as always, for an earlier scoop of everything that's happening in the smartphone and tech world, make sure you follow us on pocketnow.com and subscribe to our YouTube channel as well. You can also follow me on Twitter, Jaime underscore Rivera. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw. I am Jaime Rivera. Thank you very much for watching. See you tomorrow.